Hello everyone, my name is Rahul. In this video, let's look at how to remote debug into a virtual machine that's on Azure from your local computer. I have already set up a virtual machine in the Azure portal. This is a straight out of the box virtual machine running Windows Server 2016. You can connect to it from the Azure portal. With the RDP file, you can remote connect to this virtual machine. I have already set up the connection and right now we are in the virtual machine. The first thing you want to have here is the remote debugger. This is available on any machine that has Visual Studio or you can download from the internet. Since I have Visual Studio installed on my local machine, let's go to where that's located. You can find the remote debugger in the Visual Studio installation path under professional depending on what your Visual Studio version is and common 7 IDE. The remote debugger folder. Copy that across to the virtual machine so that you can use the msvsmon executable to start the remote debugging process. Once you have copied it across into the VM, let's go into the x64 version and run that as an administrator. It'll ask you to configure a few firewall rules as this listens to a specific port. It automatically adds them in once you give it permission. You can see that the application is now running, listening on port 4024. This is configurable under option. We'll leave it with the defaults. You can see that this now connects using Windows authentication. To make things easier, let's choose no authentication and allow any user to debug. Note that this auth no authentication mode should not be used on a network that might have hostile traffic. And even if you decide to turn it on, don't forget to turn this off and close this port back off. Let's go to the firewall rules that would have been added. So you can see in the inbound rules, the Visual Studio Remote Debugger, there's two rules allowed to open up the port and allow incoming connections. In the Azure portal, under the networking tab, we need to add an inbound port rule for the port 4024. This opens up connections to the VM from the Azure portal side. Now that we are all good from the virtual machine side, let's head back to my local desktop. I have a sample application here, which is a simple console application and writes to the console the key pressed. If you press X, it exits. Running this on my local machine is pretty smooth. It opens up, I can press a key, it starts showing up details. Once I press X, it exits. Debugging this is pretty straightforward from your local machine. Once you have this on a remote virtual machine, debugging this can become a bit tricky. Let's copy this application from the bin folder. Let's choose the debug version. Copy this across into the virtual machine. I have this copied under the console app folder. Let's run the console application in the Azure VM. You can see this works as expected here as well. Now, if we want to debug this from my local host, let's head back to Visual Studio. Under debug, say attach to process, choose remote no authentication from the dropdown of connection type. You can get the IP address or use the full qualified name to the VM to connect to it. Using the IP address, Make sure you specify the port number and hit enter. You can see that the console application does show up here. Let's select that and say attach. Visual Studio is now debugging the application running on the virtual machine. To prove this, let's open up the virtual machine, minimize this and press a key here. You can see that the remote debugger is attached and it's debugging locally on my machine. In this demo, I'm using Visual Studio 2019 to connect the remote debugger. One issue I have noticed is that when the application was built on any platform, the remote debugger did not get attached. I had to choose x64 or x86 specifically for the remote debugger to work. There's already an issue in the developer community that talks about this problem. Not sure why this happens. I'll put a link to this issue in the description in case you wanted to follow up. Hope this helps you to remote debug applications on Azure Virtual Machines. If you found this video helpful, 
please don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to get notified on videos like this in the future, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you.